The state of our state is strong. Governor Nathan Deal used those exact words of reassurance in front of the Georgia General Assembly today in his annual State of the State address. I sat in on the speech and spoke with a few of Middle Georgia's lawmakers who weighed in on the governor's plan for fiscal year 2014. As this body of lawmakers begins to pass laws through their 40-day session of the Georgia General Assembly, Governor Nathan Deal has four foundations he wants them to keep in mind. Education, public safety, health care, and economic development. Let's concentrate on the things on which we can all agree the foundations that improve the lives of our citizens. State Representative James Beverly believes in Governor Deal's pledge to allocate $231 million in the fiscal year 2014 budget to widen the port of Savannah. The deepening of the ports in uh, Savannah is going to bring more freight. I think that Macon is poised to do very well if we can actually enhance some of the uh, inland port stuff that's going on there. Beverly is concerned about health care. Governor Deal's more than $19 billion budget will not include Medicaid eligibility expansion. That means about 500,000 Georgians will miss out. We have to, just as a state, um, to think about health care in preventative terms. Prevention is what Governor Deal wants to focus on in the realm of public safety. He's pumping $5 million into community-based programs to keep juvenile offenders from ending up in the system as adults. State Senator Cecil Staten says this is what communities in middle Georgia and across the state need. We want those people to be productive citizens. We want their families to be whole. It doesn't serve any purpose to just have an ever-growing uh, correction system. So we've got to catch that and work on that on the front end. Governor Deal believes one way to keep those kids out of trouble is to get back to the basics. Education was increased. Deal pledged an additional $156 million to enrollment in grades K through 12. We must not let our children fall behind, for that is a path toward remediation and delayed success. Good news for the Hope Scholarship Foundation. Deal pledged to increase that fund to $600 million in 2014 and also set aside more scholarship money for students studying at technical colleges.